Elementary students got the surprise of their lives this afternoon. Who's that? <laughs> Last year, Major Eric Doggett was deployed to Afghanistan. Today, his wife Catherine first met him at the airport, then rushed him off to surprise their kids. Reagan and Connor had no idea their dad was coming home today. The kids were presenting their posters that Catherine helped them make for when their dad would come home. The whole family was overjoyed with the surprise. The Doggets will soon be relocating to Germany. Alessandra Nicole. Daniela Villegas. Agua! Agua! She did it. Agua! Miss Connie. Yes. You better file me here. Oh my God! Oh my God! This way? Where did you get on here? Hi. We come, we come to hang out with you. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, honey. Like, how long did you go? Oh. Oh, so bad. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous a bit. I'm in a good way, I think. Army Major J.D. Tillman hasn't seen his son in 10 months. I've, I've missed him a whole bunch. Um, I've actually thought about this day um, quite a bit over the last several months. <laughs> A while ago, he promised Jalen he'd be back by his 16th birthday. He's made it with one day to spare. Hey, oh my God! Oh my God! What's up, dude? Oh my God! Damn, damn. <laughs>
<laughs> Tillman lost 55 pounds overseas. He wondered if his son would even recognize him. But immediately, he did. What went through your head? That's my dad. <laughs> It just kind of, I mean, because I'm thinking he's in Afghanistan. How much does it mean to you for him to be here for your 16th birthday? More than anything that I could ever imagine. This hug is something they've both been waiting for. I need to touch him, you know, something I hadn't done in a long time. I've had that mental image um, over and over. His son is now old enough to understand. His father's job is a dangerous one. I try not to think about it, but you know, I mean, it's a whole nother world over there. But on his 16th birthday, he won't have to worry. His father is home. I'm just happy. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> oh, daddy, did we go, Haven?
The sacrifice, service, and pride of a military family on display at the airport tonight. A wife and mom serving overseas with a medical division of the Air Force came home to her loving husband and toddler. It's a touching reunion you will only see here on News Channel 13. Eager family members came bearing bouquets of flowers, balloons, and welcome home signs for Staff Sergeant Tina Travis. Beyond proud. So proud. But her husband, Air Force veteran Tyler Travis, was holding the one thing his wife needed to see the most, their daughter. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better to have mommy back in her life. The couple wondered, would 20-month-old Riley even remember her mom? Just over a year old, when Tina deployed with the Air Force to cut her, little Riley was barely walking. A little shy today, we're told she's now running around, talking and counting to six. That's how many months her mom was away. She's going to be amazed. But all the wonder and worry faded away as mother and daughter spotted each other. Go get mom. Go get mommy. Go get mommy. I was just overwhelmed because I missed them so much. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, just seeing her come down here, it just brought tears to my eyes. One of the most heart touching things we've ever seen. Mommy's home. Tyler and Riley have been FaceTiming with Tina every day for the past six months, and they're so excited to put the iPhone and the iPad away and just be together as a family. Having met in the Air Force, Tyler and Tina's love of country brought them together. Now their love for each other and their little girl will bring them home to Saratoga Springs as a reunited family of three, this time for good. I want everybody to know that she's the strongest mom and wife out there. I'm just happy, very happy. Tina's sister just emailed me tonight to say they had a really special evening with the whole family, relaxing, opening Christmas presents, and having dinner together. Tina is a graduate of Saratoga Springs High School, and she told me after eight years, she's now getting out of the Air Force. She and her husband are going to buy a house to be near family. April. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's why you freaked me out. Oh my God. Quiet, quiet. 